Oseo. Oseo. A week ago, uh, we were looking at Indigenous Peoples Day, and uh, in some places it replaced Columbus Day. Some places they had both on the same day, and some put them a day apart. Uh, the TV news showed people um, walk in Los Angeles walking in honor of uh, Indigenous Peoples Day. Also, it showed at least one picture of a monument of Columbus, um, statue and monument that had been defaced. <laughs> uh, and I want to say a few words to maybe kind of get some things straightened out. Uh, well, the few things I'm going to say, I'm extremely abbreviating the historical antecedents and these few tidbits, you know, out of a sufficient corpus of history. Uh, speaking of Columbus, Christopher Columbus, whose Spanish name is Cristobal Colon. He is a native of the Balearic Islands. Uh, and those islands are right off the uh, coast of Aragon in southeastern Spain. They also were very significant in the, the migration of the Scots met, led by Miltus from Iona. They stopped there at Balearic Islands and then crossed the Iberian Peninsula and on to the British Isles. So it's very, very significant. Also, the father of California missions, Juanipero Serra, is also a native of Mallorca there in the Balearic Islands. And uh, if you go to Old Town, you will see a lot of Mallorcan pottery celebrating that. Uh, that uh, Cristobal Colón, Columbus, was in his lifetime a Jewish person. And uh, he converted to Christianity, as did his financial backers, also necessary at the time. Uh, he was part of, in, in, my, in um, Balearic Islands, a part of a Jewish colony of um, people who made mass cartographers. He and others were recruited by Prince Anselmo of Portugal, who was an enlightened prince of the time. Prince Anselmo had also received in 1474 a map, a map by Paolo uh, Toscanelli of, of Florence, who his knowledge derived from the earlier Greek Hipparchus, who had mapped the, uh, the world, the me measured the globe of the world. And Toscanelli, you know, enlarged on that and had a map that uh, showed the Atlantic Ocean all the way across, believing that, that um, the West Indies was really, you know, over there and, and had missed the middle part. In other words, what he had mapped was actually Cuba and Florida. Mm. And uh, Columbus had spirited that map away and had taken it to Ferdinand of Aragon. And Ferdinand had given him the ships, in other words, they were Ferdinand's ships, you know, all based on, on that. Uh, a, a mention of this word Jew has been used pejoratively. Uh, really, it's a kind of a little mistake. That it's happened from a misreading in Middle English and French of the Greek letter iota, and that was for the word I, or why we would use it, and that that's where the misunderstanding for uh, pronouncing as we do, Jew. The actual Spanish name is uh, Yehuda, is the way that I've heard it. And the Yehudi are people who are very, very, very ancient and very, very widespread throughout the world, all the way north to Phrygia, all the way into uh, northwestern India, Africa, and very well saturated throughout the Spanish peninsula. The name Iberia actually seems to come from their ancestors, Iberi meaning the Hebrews, and all the way across to Mexico, ancient Mexico, and in Japan also. So that when Columbus had sailed across, believing he had landed uh, not in Cuba, but in Japan, uh, his first officer that went over to greet the natives had greeted them in Chaldean. So all of this, you know, showed that. So that, that's the, the basic thing that I'm kind of bringing up here. Uh, in terms of Indigenous Peoples Day, 
um, it's not our interest to defame Senor Columbus so much as it is our interest to move the boulder of goodness <laughs> forward so that we can acquit ourselves of that history. I've selected this poem, and this is my painting uh, to go along with it, this bit. These are earth prayers. Long ago, the ancients say, this land was free, and we shared it all, with the mountains and the sea, the birds and the trees. We lived in peace long ago, before those others came and built fences by cutting the trees, dug mines by cutting the earth, removed her blood, the oil that lies within, formed long ago, like us <laughs> who lived in peace. The birds sang less without the trees, the land became dry without the birds to plant the flowers, and we too became quiet, watching our mountains die, listening for the birds that no longer flew, but still we lived in peace. What sustained us through all those years? The nights of silence and the songs of the frogs. For we know, as the ancients said, this land will again be free and we will again share it all with the mountains and the sea, the birds and the trees, for we still live in peace, and we will live in peace, and we wish you the same, for we are all one. Mita kawe o yasen, all are related. May the earth always speak to our spirits. Mm. Well.